こんにちは皆さん、はじめまして、マックスです。ボンショックもタレブジョンもペレマックス。よろぶねのハセオマックスにだ。Hi everybody, welcome back. Ooh, the itchy eyelash. How is everybody doing today? Welcome back to another brand new live video for the girls, for the children, and for the k i n s e n e r a acrylic full set fantasy today. That's not a Gatorade, that's like a little baby water. That's all. Why do you have that in there? For an emergency. Actually, no, when I checked into the hotel in Phoenix, they had little baby、uh, bottles of water. And being me, I had to get as many as I could. So I was putting them in my bag. No, what did my mom do with my Gatorade? Did she, did she leave in the car? Maybe. Can you get me a bottle of water then? So since I don't have a Gatorade, I'm gonna have to have a bottle of water with crystal light caffeine. Oh, I haven't had that in a while. How is everybody doing today? Welcome back, my lovelies, to a brand new live video. I am excited today because I've been wanting to do an acrylic full set for quite some time now. Hello, Miss Boo Creamy Nails. So, I have a new model today. So, Gloria Salazar, her daughters wanted to get their nails done, and I was like, sure, why not? That gives me an opportunity to try new things on the Phalange Fantasy. So, her name is April, and your sister is Allison.、Yes. And they look just like her mom, too. There's no denying that that's Gloria Salazar's daughter, huh? Gloria Salazar. Gloria Salazar. Not Gloria, the one that likes to dance and move things around, the other Gloria. Hello, hello. So, April, your job is to read the comments on the video. Okay. Okay, so we're on Instagram right now. Are you following me on Instagram? No, my mom didn't tell me a cow. Really? Your mom's evil. <laughs> It's King of Nail. King of Nail? Yes. Okay. So, we all have to be extra nice today because she is, she's only 15. That's why we're gonna do quinceanera themed nails today. So, we're going to use, we're not gonna do sculpted nails, we're going to do.、Um, Tip and overlay. I'm going to use the stiletto tips and we're going to use、um, some of the French flash acrylic. We're going to use Capricorn glitter. Hello. We're going to use Eternal Beige acrylic and make them very sparkly. Maybe some rhinestones on one finger. We're going to do like a glitter ombre. But the Capricorn glitter I think will look really pretty on top of the French flash number five, which is the crystal one. Look how beautiful this is. It's like a Barbie hot pink. Hot pink summer. but With the other one on top, well, it'll like really soften it out, make it really pretty. You look so good today. Thank you. I'm still wearing a hat because I hate this toner, so I'm gonna wash it again. I can't wash my hair every day because if I did, I would be bald. And a bald max is. Karen Huger and I do the same thing. Nobody sees us without our hair. Karen Huger from the Real Houses of Potomac. Cheers to her. The Grand Dame of Potomac. Speaking of which, it's actually the other Gloria, the one that moves everything around. It's her birthday today. So happy birthday to Gloria. She's probably gonna party hard. And a quick update I,、um, my mom went to go see my dad today. She can't, we can't visit him until three. So I'm going to. Yeah, she said, nobody sees me without my hair. Same with me. Nobody sees me without my hair. We're gonna put our enocouture.com apron on. I like that toner, but it will wash hopefully soon. Oh, I hate it. it It almost pulled red, which I don't like. It has very warm tones to it, and I am not feeling it. I can. I got a recommendation about this thing to get rid of like excess toner if it takes too dark, but I'm scared that it's gonna dry out my hair even more than it already is, giving you the KFC hair fantasy. So, without further ado, let us begin the snatching of the phalanges. Thank you, I appreciate that.、Um, we're gonna evaluate what, what next steps. Are next for him because my mom says, you know, if he gets violent or anything like that, that's really worrisome for her. So hopefully, we don't have to put him in a home, but、uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, they, they give him something really strong. It does not go with my skin because it I, almost look, it's pink. My skin is really pink, and then this hair is like it has like this warm tone to it. I don't like it. <sighs> oh, I'm actually gonna do a pre shampoo treatment, and that hopefully that will knock the toner out because. Thank you. So, let us begin the snatching of the phalanges, my lovelies. Oh, and before I forget, promo code GREEN20. Again, the promo code is GREEN20, and that will take 20% off your entire purchase for the rest of the month of March, including items that are already on sale, which are the scoops. The scoops are only one per style per order, not per customer. So, you can order one of each, and you can do a thousand orders, but they cannot be combined because we're trying to make it as fair as possible so that way everybody gets a scoop. A scoop to my Lou, my darling. Hello, my love. I wish I could get a toner to work. My job would be so much easier. My favorite toners and the ones that are 
always a go for me are the Fanola Ice Blonde toners. Like that is my signature blonde, but I tried this new one, which is the Wella that's supposed to have like a built-in Olaplex and it was no, no, no. She didn't do it. Oh my God, it's Peter from Gucci Ronkonkoma. All the way out in Long Island, serving us the Greek fantasy. So we're gonna turn this around. Oh my gosh, look at little Alice and April's nails. Her sister Allison also has the tiniest little hands. Look at that. Tiny little baby phalanges. So you guys are Irish twins then? I don't know who that is. Irish twins means you and your sister were like really close in age. Yeah, we're two years apart. Two years? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you were like months apart. We're gonna do one hand first here okay. on Instagram and then one on TikTok. Mm -hmm. I thought you're 15 and she's 16. She is 17. Oh, so she's a little bit older then. Yeah, she's okay. graduating this year. Really? Mm -hmm. How exciting. Is your mom going to have a big party for her? Yeah, hopefully. And then your little brother is how old? He's seven years old. He's seven? Mm -hmm. Is he a mischievous child? Absolutely. Really? Yeah. He's a bad little boy? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was out of frame a little bit. So your job is to keep up with the comments and see what everyone's saying, okay? okay? What's everybody saying? Cute, teensy nail buds. Aren't they tiny? So we're gonna go in first with the easy bits. Are you guys excited for an acrylic full set today? It's been a little while since we've done a full set of our acrylic. Like on my mom, we only did one finger. So today, we get to do all of them. So first we're gonna go in with the easy bits to begin to push back the dry non-living tissue. Someone says they have Irish twins. Irish twins. Are you an Irish twin or you have Irish twins? I have Irish twins. That means you had your kids back to back. Ten months apart? Oh my gosh, that must be hard too. Can you imagine like two like toddlers at the same time? That is tough. So this bit is very gentle as you guys can see and it just goes in and cleans everything out really beautifully. Are you excited to get your nails done? Yeah. When was the last time you got your nails done? My quince. Okay, so it's been a little while. Yes. How'd you get them done for your quinceañera? Um, it was very simple and kind of short. Really? Yeah. How sad. Short nails make me sad. <laughs> Every time somebody wears short nails, I die a little bit inside. A flower dies. <laughs> We're gonna go in with our famous skinny sanding band and mandrel. Is anybody saying anything? Whoops. Mm -hmm. Just the... No? No? Uh -uh. If you can hear us, press the number four. Still, I, I think I see one from Brew Cream. It says, aw, she's... <laughs> what did she say? I can't see out of the corner of my eye. The lights are glaring. She's a baby still. She's excited to get her nails done. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because it's been a while. So we're going to go in and we're going to etch the nail bed very gently. Okay. Oh, I can feel that caffeine kicking in. Very gently. And you guys notice I did not trim the cuticle because her hand is actually a little bit clammy. Do your hands sweat a lot? A bit. I'm in party class, so it tends to. In what class? Party class. What's that? I work with clay in the sculptures. Oh, okay. I remember your mom was telling me that one of you guys does tattoos. I've only practiced once. Allison has done more tattoos than me. Really? Your sister knows how to do tattoos? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So we're going to trim very carefully because her skin is kind of like on the clammy side. So we don't want to break the skin. So I'm just going to trim very gently. So we're going to remove the dust. I'm gonna push back the cuticle one more time. If I can find my pusher, oh, here she is. When in doubt, push, push, push again. So that way we can get all of that nail estate, as Susie calls it, visible. There we go, we're gonna take our famous spring nippers. And we're going to trim only what's waving at us and try to get it in one 
piece. And remember, the secret to using the spring nipper is you do not want to open up the mouth of the nipper all the way. There we go. Very carefully. Is the angle good? Can everybody see? Yes, no, maybe? See how it just comes off in one giant chunk? That's what we want. Someone's plant manager said they cannot wear any kind of nail stuff or else they will be unemployed. Why? What do you do? What do you work in that you can't wear any kind of nail stuff? You can find another job. I can help you find a job as a stripper. Let me know where. We'll find some nice clubs. Or you can move to Ohio, it won't work at Vanity. So now we're gonna go in with a little coat of nail prep. And someone else wants to get the spring nippers. Oh my gosh, they are iconic. And you can take this to the skin as well too, to dehydrate the skin. So that way when we blend and we file, we can lift up the dry non-living tissue and then trim again, if needed. And you guys are gonna see, look, the nail turns chalky white. So we're gonna take a little bit of nail glue and our stiletto nail tips. So these are half well nail tips. This is a five, so this would be a six. I wish I've not done nail tips in a while. I'm excited. Next to the thumb. How are you guys doing today? The fact that they work at a bottling packaging company. Oh, that's right. What about gloves? Are gloves an option? Did you guys have lunch today? Let me know in the comments below what you guys had for lunch. I want to take some of our brush on nail glue. And a little dab will do you. And I like to glue my nail tips barely touching the free edge. Oh, me too. It was an avocado dressing salad. It was pretty plain. It had like hard boiled egg in it, and that was pretty much it. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They're so short. Empress said they had curry, goat, and black eyed pea rice. Oh, that sounds good. Except goat. I don't mess with goat, but I'll do anything curry. And the rice sounds good. Send me some. My mailing address is 860 East 19th Street. The last person I replied back that they do use gloves, but more of a heat resistant purpose. Ah. Can you wear like gel over your real nail or no, they won't let you? And then a little bit of glue on the thumb. And the secret to using nail glue, people always think that if I apply more glue to the nail, it'll stick better. And the answer is no. The, actually, the least amount of glue, the faster it'll dry and the better the adhesion. And you guys know, I like to glue my tips barely touching the free edge. Whoops. Because that way, it'll grow out nicer and it'll look more like a sculpted nail. Because the glue is only, I mean, the tip is only to add length and shape, not to add strength. Give it a few seconds. Perfect. Let's let that dry for a little bit. And then I'm gonna get my dappin dish ready. I'm gonna take out the older monomer in there.
And then I'm probably gonna use my brush that I always use for acrylic, because she's my go-to. She's my red or die. My pink crystal size 12. It is my personal favorite acrylic brush. See, I have it right here. She's ready to go, because I love this brush so much. And let's get a little bit of Pink Magic Fast Dry Monomer. And you guys know you can actually mix monomers too, right? Okay, let's follow the sides of the tips. So that way we can debulk the tip and have it fit more slim and snatched to the nail. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, did any of you guys start watching 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After? Did you guys see Gina's, not Gina, Jasmine's um, USA flag bikini? Let me know in the comments below if anybody saw it. Someone asked Max, what's the difference between your city and Salon 1, 2, 3, go? Uh, length and style. They're both fairly thin nails, but um, City is slightly shorter, more career woman, and Salon is slightly longer, more overly. And then there's actually, if you want to see them being used, we have videos on all of our um, social media platforms, so here on YouTube and on Instagram and on Facebook there's videos of the nails. We're gonna take some of our famous non-acid primer and you can actually take this primer to the tip too and then open up the plastic on, on the tip and make it more porous too. Lovely. Someone asked how do you mix, what do you mean by mixing monomers? So you can mix our fast dry monomer with our regular monomer. Mm -hmm. and have a, like a more medium set monomer. But I like working fast, so I always just go in with regular Pink Magic Fast Dry. And then this is the French Flash Acrylic. This is number five, which is like a clear, like AB, crystally kind of Cinderella glass slipper. And then I'm gonna take from the Zodiac Glitter, I'm gonna use Capricorn, which is this really pretty pink. Okay, relax your hands for me. No, relax. There you go. Yeah? Hoy como lo viste? En serio? Muy enojado estaba? Te digo que te fueras. Todavía no le dan medicamento. ¿Y qué te dijo? Mm. So a nice thin coat on the tip And then while it's still wet I'm going to go in with Capricorn Valaki says they love your work No, Yanda What was that? I'm sorry Valaki says they love your work and sorry for spamming Oh, that's okay Look how pretty that is So a nice, small, wet bead, ombre it up. Keep it thin because we're working in layers. A little bit of Capricorn to add the sparkle sparkle to the nail. It is my first time getting my nails done. Wait, no, second. Really? Yeah. So the first time was for your party? Uh-huh. How exciting. It just was like pretty simple. I didn't remember I hadn't done. Really? They were uh -huh. short? They were almond, short, and beige. So just really clean and simple. Uh-huh. And your sisters? Mm, some pink summer to that in length, mm -hmm. but I forgot what the color was. So I know that you guys had different color dresses too for your quince. Yeah, I had a black one. You had the black one? Mm-hmm. And she had red? Red one, yeah. Almost like a blood red, huh? Mm-hmm. It was supposed to be burgundy, but... She ended up liking red more. Really? Mm -hmm. And your mom? She had the white one? I think she wore like a black sparkly dress. Really? Yeah. Do you guys think that you and your mom are sisters? Because you guys look so much like each other? 
Do people confuse you guys? They're like, oh, your sisters? No. No, they always say that it's your mom? Yeah. Here I am trying to give your mom a compliment. <laughs> People have told me that I look more like my grandpa. Really? Yeah. Isn't that cute, the little glitter? Very Cinderella y. And look at that acrylic. It is so pigmented. As you guys can see, I'm applying it super thin. And I just tap it on. And it's like so pigmented, it's not even funny. There we go, beautiful. And then I'm gonna do a little ombre at the back with our famous, the number one acrylic in the universe, Eternal Beige. This is our number one selling acrylic here at EnoCouture.com. This and our, I think probably Racer Clear. So a small, medium, dry bead around the cuticle area and then stroke it out to do a little ombre effect. See? Um, they asked if it's necessary to follow the tip to blend with the nail and what's the best? What's the basic curl? What was the question again? I'm sorry. Um, someone asked, is it necessary to follow the tip to blend with the nail? And another person asked, what's the basic acrylic? Is it necessary to file the tip? And the answer is, it depends on the kind of technique you're doing. So since we did an ombre with glitter and we're using a cover pink, the cover pink that we're using is called Eternal Beige. You don't have to blend the tip. And our tips are already really super thin, so you don't have to blend. And the glitter and the cover pink already will kind of like hide it for you. So it just saves you time as well too. And then the base that we did was French Flash Acrylic number five. And then I used Capricorn glitter from the Zodiac. And now I'm just doing a very small bead of Eternal Beige in the back to give it an ombre effect, see? One more. Before you apply the acrylic, do you notice that mine doesn't stick to my brush? That is one, the acrylic that we manufacture because it's the bomb.com award winning. And two is you wait for the product to begin to um, slightly polymerize so that way you get the best um, consistency and workability of the product because if you start trying to stroke it out as soon as you put the bead down it could stick to the bristles beautiful and now to build out the shape and the structure of the nail we're going to use racer clear which is our fast dry clear acrylic And I go through this like crazy. That's why I have it in a pound jar. So angle the nail down so that way the acrylic runs away from the cuticle. And then with the tip of the brush, walk it around the cuticle area. And then begin to stroke it out through the whole shape. Do you notice that the product does not stick to the bristles? That's how incredible our product is. And then stroke it out side, side and then down the center. Como se parecen a su mamá, verdad? Can you think X was a trick to the perfect apex? What's the trick to the perfect apex? You have to let the product do the work for you. So you notice how I angle the nail down, and then once I start needing to get length, I move the nail up. Can you see that? That will automatically build out the apex for you. You don't have to do a huge, big old thick apex. And the apex is never the same on everybody. It's always in different locations. I personally like my apex right here, two thirds of the way down on the nail. I don't like it right here because I think that looks funny. 
that only looks good on somebody that has like really long fingers and a really long nail bed but on most people realistically we're not all hand models it does not look like that so it looks better three-fourths of the way on the nail martinez received their super scoop today oh my gosh did you love it isn't it incredible the super scoops you guys they're iconic and right now you can save 20 percent off your entire purchase with promo code GREEN20. So the secret is let the product do the work for you. And it's not necessarily necessary to have a huge brush to build out the nail. We do offer big brushes, but honestly, if you know how to work the product properly and you're using ours, you don't need a size 16, you don't need a size 22. Because one, you're wasting a lot of monomer and a lot of powder when you don't need to. Because I'm using a size 12 and you guys can see I'm doing a one bead application on a medium set, uh, medium size length. Let's stroke it down side, side, and then down the center. And you guys can see I'm rotating the finger, letting gravity do the work for me. Beautiful. And now we can begin to shape the phalanges. Let's clean up our brush. That was really fast, huh? April. That was really fast, huh? It was. I was just reading the comments. Someone said that they asked if you enjoy acrylic. Can you tell? As you guys know, your boy has a lot of trophies when it comes to doing nails. Because I've been doing this longer than most of you have been alive. And my first true love is acrylic nails. Someone asked if the vegan brushes are 100% Kalinsky. If they were vegan, how could they be Kalinsky? That doesn't make any sense. The, the name should tell you by itself, my love. Vegan means synthetic, like some people's hair. Mine sometimes. So if it's vegan, that means it's made without animal byproducts. We do offer Kalinsky brushes, but Kalinsky comes from animal hair. And when someone says, oh, this is um, cruelty-free Kalinsky, she's lying to you because that animal has to die. They have to cut the tail off to um, harvest the hair. So there's no such thing as cruelty-free Kalinsky. That is complete BS. They're lying to you. Tell them to, you want to see the, the animal then. We are like, where is the rest of it then? They're lying to you. But synthetic hair has come such a long way in the last um, few years. And as a manufacturer, our priority is always innovation. That's why we manufacture incredible vegan material. And we actually are coming out with a vegan mink hairbrush later on. What's everybody saying? Not much, people are just joining, and some Holly's Massey Bank said Lil Max. She said what? Lil Max. Oh, she said that's what I thought. Now, there's no such thing as a stupid question, but there's a lot of people out there that are super like lying and misleading, and they're like, oh, this, and I, ugh, big brands too. And not to talk like, you know, shade or anything like that, but no Tino shade. When someone says, oh, this is um, cruelty-free Kalinsky. Okay, so whatever. And my nose is real as well. It just really frustrates me as a manufacturer when people say such blatant lies to try to get, you know, 20 bucks out of you or more because now like brushes are really expensive. But we do have an incredible array of brushes here at enocouture.com. We have so many different brushes and at every single price point too. We have brushes that are designed specifically for beginners and then we have really, really high-end brushes. Um, it just depends on your skill level. Can you bring out the pinch your brush? Why or why not? 
Um, uh, my brushes come already pinched unless unless noted. And if you pinch by um, yourself, you could lead to like um, pinching too much and then you don't get proper liquid to powder ratio. So I would not recommend having somebody that doesn't know what they're doing when it comes to manufacturing pinching brushes. So I would buy only brushes from enocouture.com and our brushes are calibrated um, to, have, to be perfect every time. Valerie said it's like saying we have cruelty free leather. For reals. It's like no girl. It's, it's, the animal has to be pieced out in order to harvest its hair. But some people will try to be sneaky snakes but say, well, okay, well, if the animal's alive, um, please elaborate either the process or I want to see the animal alive. I want to see where the little long-tailed rat is. Someone asked, do you recommend Kalinsky or is it for a beginner? I spend if it's better. What was the question again? Someone asked, do you recommend Kalinsky or synthetic for beginners and they will spend it if it's better? So we have a brush that's specifically designed for beginners. It's called My First Nail Brush, which is designed specifically to get ruined. It's designed for when you're just barely starting out. And it's a great brush and it is um, synthetic material. But we have a, such an incredible synthetic materials, you'll be, you won't even be able to tell the difference. That's how incredible it is. So we're going to use the verse bits at about 35,000 RPM. And we're going to begin shaping the nail right at the free edge where her nail ends and the real and the fake nail starts okay and i put my finger underneath to make the nail nice and straight and move the bit in one direction to make it nice and consistent but my personal favorite brush from enocouture.com is the pink crystal brush and i have so many brushes but i always find myself using this pink crystal. Alejandra, what do you recommend for beginners, full tip or acrylic? Both, as long as they're from enocouture.com. Any product that I manufacture is the best. And you know you're buying American manufacturing and top quality at a super affordable price because you're manufactured direct. Look how beautiful this product shapes, oh my gosh. And the dust is super heavy. So if you're worried about dust, as you guys can see, the dust just falls to the ground. Can you bring that if you drill in forward or reverse? Forward, because I am right-handed. Only for uh, reverse if you're a lefties. Got their super scoop on Monday and loved everything. Oh my gosh, awesome! Thank you, thank you so much. Right now, you can get all of our products, including the scoops, at 20% off using promo code GREEN20 because March is the month of the green of the leprechaun, luck of the Irish. Did anybody watch that movie? I heard it was terrible. So, then around the cuticle and then bevel out the shape one more time. Nice and thin at the cuticle. Not good. Not good. I think the medication is out of his system, so he is unfortunately very hostile and not in a very good mood. So it's. I think. Um, I don't know when we can go see him again, but uh, hopefully um, they get his medication. You know, more stable. And it's. It sucks because he's good for like a few months, and then all of a sudden he just goes back to being super rational and. Not himself. I have a charger my phone died. Uh oh, what kind of phone is it? Uh, it's a C charger. Oh, okay, yes. Hold on one second. Luckily, yes, I do. Here you go. Thanks. Mm hmm. So my mom went to go visit him and he was not in a very nice mood. So to avoid the emotional stress, she decided to leave the visitation, which is very unfortunate. So around the cuticle, bevel out the shape. Okay. 
how beautiful it blends everything out. Relax your fingers. There you go. And it looks like I'm going back and forth, but I'm not. I'm only going in one direction. But when I start at point A and I go to point B, when I go back to point A, I lift up my machine so fast, it looks like I'm going in one direction. And back and forth, but I'm not. I'm going in one direction. And this will reduce heat and give you a more consistent um, curvature of the nail. This bit is incredible. As you guys can see, I'm literally taking it to the skin. No damage whatsoever. And again, this is the burst bit. Okay, then I'm going to go back around the cuticle area with the easy bit to make sure that there's no non-living tissue and that there's no product stuck to the skin. At a nice low speed, about 10,000 RPM. So smooth. So since you guys look like your mom so much, what does your little brother look like? He also looks a lot like my mom. But really? Like my dad. He looks like your dad more? Yeah. And then we're gonna bevel out the shape, make it a nice sharp almondy nail for her. Make sure that side wall is nice and straight. I'm using the fantastic file. If you guys have not used the fantastic file, oh my gosh. Well, you are missing out. Especially for those of you guys that do nails full time. It is so cost effective because you peel it off for every single customer. So it saves time with uh, sanitation. And also it gives you a really better shape because the nail is made out of metal. The nail. The file is made out of metal. So you get a really beautiful shape. Where are you going, round face? Look at that, beautiful. What are they saying? Oh, your phone's still dead, huh? Yeah. It doesn't have any battery yet? 1%. 1%. 1 Give us a second, you guys. It wouldn't be a max video unless we had technical difficulties. But yes, I will be bringing out one phalange at least. We have to start her out slow. This is literally her second set of nails in her life, in her vida.
Okay, we're gonna go in with the smoothie buffer and buff the whole top surface of the nail. Remove any scratches and get the nail ready for top gel. We're gonna use Wonder Gel today. And I always like to buy buff in a uh, going downward direction because that will reduce more scratches and give you a smoother, more consistent shape as well. Okay, turn your hand upside down for me and we're gonna buff and bevel out the inside of the free edge. Do you see where the E is on the file? That's where you put your thumb, so that way you get a consistent and even buff. Okay, then the thumb. Beautiful. And then remove the dust. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with my spring nipper and trim. Hmm. Ugh, I hate when it does that. So you have to buy a, an additional. So whatever you need plus that. So you can do like five. Really? Yeah, That's why I had to buy so much last time. Mm-hmm. You have to update it. Really? Yeah. Try a little less, try three uh three. No? I wonder if their system is down. Where are you going? Already? Ooh. If not, just wait. I'm almost done anyway, and then I'll uh, I'll pay off the card. Okay, there we go. So then we're gonna go in with our primer. We're gonna go around the cuticle area to make sure we don't have any lifting. And our primer is acid free so you don't have to worry about any irritation or burning. And then we're gonna seal with a nice coat of Wonder Gel, the entire Phalange Fantasy. And you guys, again, we apologize. Her phone died. And then we're gonna seal the whole nail surface with a nice coat of Wonder Gel. Isn't it beautiful? So soft. It's just giving us a natural extravaganza today with just that really pretty ombre sparkle. A nice, even, thin coat of Wonder Gel over everything. Oops. I'm 
Sokak Kredar is. Make sure you get that gel top coat in every single nook and cranny so that way everything is sealed and beautiful. Someone said it's really pretty. Isn't it? It's like super soft and I love how the little bit of the eternal beige blends into the glitter and just softens it even more. So what I need you to do is turn your hand upside down for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, no, we got a lot of dust underneath. So we'll cure the top first okay. and then we'll pull gel on the inside. We're gonna get our king lamp ready. Okay, go ahead and put your hand in here, and we're gonna bake it for one minute inside the king lamp. What do you guys think? Do you like your acrylic demos? Let me know in the comments below. It's giving an angel baby vibe. Totally. And then I'm actually going to clean out the inside with a little bit of acetone so that way I can put gel on the inside too. But I want to make sure that the top is fully cured um, so that we don't get any dust in my top coat either. Said it looks beautiful. So soft and like cute, right? Perfect for a 15 year old. For a quinceanera vibe, which is what we're going for today. Sosa, give it a try. I'm gonna take one of my famous lint free wipes that are heart shaped. Look how cute they look. Okay, let's turn it upside down. I'm gonna remove any dust and debris. Again? I was gonna say. I know, I'm like, what's going on? My credit score dropped. So we're gonna go in now with a little coat of Wonder Gel on the inside. Good night, lovely. Don't party too hard and have fun. Okay, let's go ahead and bake it now upside down. Inside the machine. And let's get some diamonds ready. So here I have some Profantasia. I have some Fairy Opal. I have some pearls. Is that enough diamonds? What do you guys think? Let's get our bling tool ready. I'm gonna warm up the tip. And then I'm going to apply the diamonds today with the OG of OGs, Miss Gummy Gel. Just because I need a new jar, I need a new tube of squeezing but I have all this gummy that I need to use, so gummy it is. What is the difference between gummy and squeezy? Honestly, um, viscosity and um, 
well one comes in a jar and one comes in a tube but other than that there really is no major difference between them there we go you can take it out now i'm gonna do diamonds on her ring finger So apply the gummy gel wherever we're going to put our diamonds. There we go. What do you guys think of that? Pretty. I'm gonna take a little bit more gummy. I'm gonna do another big one up here. Because the bigger the diamond, the closer to Jesus. Okay. Wait, wait. ¿Qué era? Pedrería. Okay. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and bake that now, just 30 seconds. Clean our brush so that way it doesn't get stiff. We're going to seal the edges of the diamonds with a little bit of liquid gummy to ensure they don't get tangled or go anywhere. You can take it out now. So we're going to take liquid gummy, apply it around the edges and in between. Okay, beautiful. Now we're going to bake this bad boy for one minute. What's everybody saying? Not much. I see something about a rule. It's kind of hard to see out of the corner of my eye. Especially with the, um, the glare. And then we're gonna seal with, or finish with cotton candy cuticle oil. I think she said, is there a rule for you, for placing gems? Oh, she's talking about her placement. So, rule of thumb is you always wanna apply your rhinestones in odd numbers, never in even numbers. Like when you de, like take off a petal off a flower, it's always odd numbers. So odd numbers will be more uh, flattering. And then always place your bigger stones towards the center and then build around that. So after the hand comes out of the lamp, we're gonna wait 10 seconds, let them know finish the polymerization process. And then we're gonna go in with a little bit of cotton candy cuticle oil.
And there you guys have it. Fast, easy, very quinceañera ruly. Isn't the pearl beautiful too? Oh, thank you. She's like, beautiful, Max. She's like, yes. And look at that blend of the shape. It's so beautiful. And the colors. Oh, I love a good acrylic full set. Don't they look like sculpted nails too? You can't even tell their tips. Look at that. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. They're like a nice icy pink quinceañera fantasy. And it makes your fingers look so long and slender, right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Well, my lovelies, that's going to wrap up our little demo for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The nails came out so beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little acrylic demo. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to use a promo code. Oh, leave it up here. That's okay. Don't forget to use promo code GREEN20. Again, GREEN20 all together to save 20% off your entire purchase and check out, of course, our famous acrylic and one, two, three, go nails. I love you guys so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. We'll be back tomorrow. We're going to head on over to TikTok, do the other hand, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.